I'm afraid to withdraw my case. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in San Diego, St. Louis, and Washington, D.C. Today's video comes from a question that I received on our Immigration Answers show. Now, if you don't know this, every day in January 2022, we are going live every single day, answering as many immigration law related questions as we can. We're going around 45 minutes each day. I've promised to go all 31 days for at least 31 minutes, but we've been going well over that. And this question came from a discussion I was having with someone and they said that they were afraid to withdraw their case. Now. After my questioning, it became pretty clear that this case was on life support, that there was a fundamental problem with this case, but yet the applicant did not want to withdraw their case. And I found this to be very strange. And they said, Jim, I'm afraid to withdraw my case. They're wondering what kind of a message does it send if I withdraw my case? And I was like, hmm, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Why would you want to continue on with a case? that we all agree is fundamentally flawed and cannot be approved. Well, some people still think there's a little bit of hope. So, and I already paid the filing fee, so why not let this play itself out? Now, if this is an application that you could fix with a refiling, we are going to strongly suggest that you withdraw that case. Now, this is of course only after an experienced immigration lawyer has reviewed the facts and the law and applied it to your case to figure out if your case is one in which a withdrawal would be appropriate. You don't want to just willy-nilly withdraw it, but if, if everyone agrees that there's something wrong, there is no value in proceeding further. There's not any reason to let the case drag on one more day because a withdrawn case is much better in your immigration history than a denied case. Now, USCIS can still hit you over the head with a case that you uh, previously withdrew, but it's still better than a denial. And the reason for that is because USCIS likes to put a lot of poison in their denials. They like to claim that there was fraud. They like to come up with all these extra reasons why your case should be denied. And you don't want all that in your record. You don't want that um, to be the basis of the denial. It's much cleaner for you. It's much better for you in most instances to actually withdraw the case and to not actually have a decision. Now, sometimes USCIS will not allow you to withdraw a case. They uh, will just go ahead and adjudicate the case, especially if it's been pending a while. They don't have to accept the withdrawal, but if they do, you're going to be in a much better position for future immigration benefits. And of course, that's what we're talking about. If we know that your case cannot be approved, the only reason you would even care what happens with this particular case is in the hopes that one day you'll be able to file another immigration benefit. So if your case is so fundamentally flawed and it needs to be withdrawn, then you should in fact withdraw it. There's no benefit to letting it play out. There's no benefit to wasting everybody's time. And it's better for you if you can get this case behind you and focus on the new case, focus on a case that can actually be approved, focus on a benefit to which you are actually eligible. Hope this makes sense. If not, feel free to join us on that Immigration Answer Show. Like I said, we're going live every single day in January for at least 31 minutes. You can find that in our Immigrant Home Facebook group, which is growing by the day. And of course, by subscribing to our YouTube channel, clicking on the little alarm bell so that you find out when we go live and when we um, are posting a new video. And then, of course, you can always uh, leave us a comment, ask us a question. You can email us, info at hackinglawpractice.com, or as always, you can give us a call at 314-961-8200. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.